Hi everybody, my name is Frank Weiss and I am the Program Director of the Masters of Science in Applied Economics at Johns Hopkins University. The MS in Applied Economics program offers both on-site and online courses for graduate students. The degree can be earned completely on-site, completely online, or through mixing both modes. Virtually all courses available online are also available on-site, though not all courses available on-site are also available online. The slide shows you the subjects that you can study here. You can choose your five electives specializing in any of, of the areas shown, but you can also mix and match. You are completely free to choose your own lecture. Virtually all our faculty have PhDs and many have published in refereed journals. But very few are Hopkins PhD candidates at the end of their study. A liberal arts college concentrating on teaching will be very envious of our faculty. Here is a picture from one of our classes. Here is the perspective on teaching in our program from one of our on-site instructors. My name is Jerz Reliff. I teach financial economics here at the Applied Economics Program at the DC campus of Johns Hopkins University. I've been teaching financial economics since 2010. I am also executive vice president at Compass Lexicon, which is an economic consulting firm here in DC. Uh, I have a PhD from New York University, and in my work I specialize in industrial organization and antitrust. So let me tell you a little bit more about the class that I teach. We typically have between 20 and 25 students in the class. We cover a wide variety of basic uh, financial concepts, but we also cover a number of advanced topics. We also dig deeper to understand the financial models underlying financial concepts so that students have a deep fundamental understanding of the economic models that uh, underlie finance. Uh, the class should be of interest to uh, many people interested in finance, whether you are interested in management or you are interested in being a practitioner or if, uh, if you want to work in financial regulation or just want to learn more about finance. We have a very diverse group of students uh, we have students who work as professionals in consulting firms, uh, government employees, and full-time students, including many international students. Students are expected to interact with each other and engage with each other, uh, work in teams. Uh, students make presentations in front of class. So engaging with other students is an important benefit of this class. My view on teaching is that you do not learn by passively listening uh, to the lecture, but by actively participating. And all students are expected to participate in the class discussions. Uh, it's an important element of the class, and we get into some very interesting discussions. Uh, and this is where students really do learn a lot of the concepts that we cover in class. We also have assigned work um, problems and as well as working with actual financial data, which is another important way that students learn in this class. So in, in uh, summary, I highly recommend this program, and I hope to see you in my class. And here are points of view from two students. I graduated from the Applied Economics program in the summer of 2011. Uh, I work in the field of international development. Uh, I chose Johns Hopkins for graduate study because 
I felt that I was in a position in my career wherein I wanted to move further up. And I felt that graduate education would be uh, the best thing for me to actually get there uh, in terms of my career goals. Uh, I felt that Johns Hopkins, uh, with their program being practical and applied, uh, it made me go beyond theory. And I felt that as a professional in the field of international development, uh, it would be very much helpful for me to, to pursue this program. Uh, I felt like after graduation, I felt like Johns Hopkins has helped me move up uh, in my career. Basically, from a vertical standpoint, I was able to move up from a consultancy position into something that is longer term. And at the same time, I was able to shift horizontally in, within the field of international development. So I started working at the World Bank, and then I moved to the United Nations. And then currently, I work at the International Monetary Fund. So the network of Johns Hopkins and at the same time, the, the educational value that it has given me has actually helped me uh, move up and move across uh, in my field of specialization, which is international development. Uh, in terms of the on-site courses, I feel like the professors are very much experts in their respective fields. Uh, we have professionals who are uh, very much knowledgeable in terms of what they can share or impart to the students in terms of their years of experience and in terms of uh, how long they have been actually immersed in their, in their field of specialization. Uh, I like the classroom interactions and the consultations that I could uh, get with the professors afterwards. And they have been very welcoming in terms of helping me uh, answer my research questions in my, in my, in my job. So in terms of, let's say, modeling or in terms of like economic questions that uh, would help me in my research at the IMF, they would be very much helpful uh, in the classroom and actually years beyond after I have graduated. So I really feel like uh, it's really a big community in Johns Hopkins and it's very well respected in the DC area. So I really believe that I made the right decision of pursuing graduate study. My name is Elizabeth Schaefer. I'm an alumna of the Johns Hopkins Master's in Applied Economic Program here in Washington, D.C. I had a great experience with the program and just wanted to share a few highlights of uh, basically what made the degree so valuable both as a student as well as a, um, a current international economist here in Washington, D.C. The first aspect of the program that was really terrific is that even though it offers a wide range of concentrations and disciplines, you have this base econometric um, knowledge and skill set that are it's basically applicable to a lot of different settings um, in the real world. With this econometric toolkit is what I also I I'll frequently call it. Um, you can walk into an NGO, you can walk into a government agency, you can walk into a consulting firm, and have skills that are ready to go and applicable to any sort of policy question. Um, or issue that really is, is something that your future employer might be interested in looking at. Um, as a person that has a little bit of a health IT background as well as an international trade background, um, I've found that econometric skill set applicable to both disciplines. So it's uh, something that's personally very, um, very important to me um, and that I found very useful. The second um, aspect of the program that really uh, attracted me was just this stellar um, team of instructors that the program offers. The um, instructors here are just leaders in their respective disciplines and the fact that they're coming from um, real world situations that they are integrated into the life and culture of the economic, their respective economic disciplines in Washington DC, uh, it not only gives your classroom experience, um, a real world context, which is, which is extraordinarily helpful. It also um, provides these really interesting narratives that you really wouldn't be able to get in the public discourse, which um, at times is, is very entertaining and uh, is just um, something that really, I, I very much value that opportunity to learn from, um, from these leaders in that way. The, um, talking about the instructors, your classmates are just extraordinary. When you have the opportunity to interact with people from so many different walks of life that some are currently working in economics, some are currently working in other related disciplines, others have decided to go full-time but are really passionate about 
um, basically understanding the world around them through uh, economic theory, it's, it's such an enriching experience. You have a multitude of backgrounds and perspectives. So when you have these team projects, um, both online and in the classroom, as well as have opportunities to uh, socialize and, and network outside of the classroom, um, it's just invaluable. It's something that really makes the program unique, and it's something that um, I personally have taken advantage of and have had the opportunity to build my network through, um, which leads me to the final. As an alumnus, I'm still very engaged with Johns Hopkins, which is fantastic. Um, everyone knows economists are not known for being the most outgoing of people, but um, with Hopkins, it's basically provided opportunity for ongoing learning. We have an ongoing lecture series where we can interact with current students, alumnus, and um, really outstanding professionals. We also have something called the ePoint Society, which is an uh, organization where we can not only interact on a social level, but also have some continuing education and interact with different economic leaders in different disciplines throughout Washington, D.C. Um, overall, my experience at Hopkins has been just fantastic. Um, I'm still engaged as an alumna, and it's really important that um, I have that reach back and that opportunity to um, perpetuate learning throughout my professional career. And through Hopkins and this master's program, I'm able to do that. If you have any further questions, please email either me or the Associate Director, Dr. Ahmed Mahmoud. We'll be very happy to answer your questions.